yeah, isn't that nice? Stepping up our production values over here at Josh's Corner. Anyway, today we're going to be tackling printing on all sorts of different types of papers here with the Ghost White Toner System. And we're also going to be doing full CMYK uh, and white images on paper just because I can and why not? Um, so you can see I've got some examples here. Now let's get into the finer details of how I did it. Now some of you might be thinking, Josh, do you have an ax to grind? Because you've put this toner density settings in every video so far. Yes, yes I do. I want you to do this. Go on your printer, go into the options and setup, and go to reports, then click network summary. And what this is going to do is print out a report that's going to have the IP address that your router has assigned to your printer on your network once you plug it in. And then what you're going to do is take this IPv4 address that's on this sheet of paper that's about to print out, and then you're going to type it into the address bar of your internet browser. Um, and what this is going to do, it's going to take you to your printer settings. And yes, your printer has to be plugged into uh, or connected to your network for this IPv4 address to fill up. And when it does, uh, you'll look right over to the right and type it in in your address bar up here. You can see I typed in mine. It was 192.168.1.7. And then from there, you want to click the System tab and then click where it says Print Density and then you want to change everything to five the maximum toner settings because we're not printing on white paper anymore we're going to be printing on black we're going to be printing on printing on transparent and we want to lay down as much toner as possible so this is where you do that change it right here one of the most commonly overlooked things that i see is people forgetting to change their media type and media settings and that can cause you to have some issues like this because we're not printing on normal white paper and you know you might be doing some different sizes so i use the bottom tray to do my sizes because they've got some predetermined markers in here and i can find around the closest size to get you know my envelopes and things like that to change your media size settings you're going to do that inside the printer settings right here uh, inside whatever program you're using or you could also do it on the printer physically itself um, but then you can also change your media type same way it can be changed inside your printer settings uh, in whatever program you're using and then you can also physically change it on the printer itself so you've got an option but it's very important that you choose the correct media type so that it slows down the fuser and the toner adheres to the uh, uh, media properly so you don't end up with things like this So here we are, now that we've adjusted our toner density settings and we've also changed our media settings to the correct settings for whatever we're printing because you know we're using a normal desktop printer and we're not printing normal desktop paper so we need to adjust these things and you do this when you're printing transfer paper, uh, you know thicker cardboard paper like you see here, uh, the tissue paper like that's down there in the bottom left hand corner. Um, when you're doing the recycled paper, paper that you're going to see me doing later, you're always going to change it. Uh, now, I'll go ahead and tell you, I had it set on color laser transparency. That's pretty much my go-to everything. I use it for my forever paper, for creating t-shirts, and it worked just fine for uh, printing here. Because what it does is it actually lays down enough toner um, with the density, and then it also slows down the speed that it feeds the paper through the printer, and then allows the toner enough time to fuse to the... Uh, paper once it's going through the fuser and here you can see I decided to get fancy and add uh, cyan yellow magenta and black on top of the white layer so I ran the paper through twice um, and you can see some of my other videos on the channel that will show you how to do that for like using the forever laser dark I do this a lot um, but yeah it can be done and so right there you can see this ghost little uh, $750 ghost printer uh, when you get it packaged with the toner cartridge and everything uh, has the same printer or same underprinting capabilities as an Oki printer, uh, so you can get that from this little $700 printer. So yeah, as you can see, I've got you know I'm now I'm doing the recycled paper and it does just fine. Um, when I actually loaded in that black envelope earlier that you saw me printed on, I did that uh, while I was resizing it 
and uh, I had already sent a print job through, so it took it before I could film it. So you, you don't actually, you're not actually going to see me printing that uh, or pulling it out of the printer. You're only going to see it in this shot here, uh, where I've got it over here on the right side, and that's why you'll see that it doesn't actually cover up the entire envelope because I was printing something much smaller uh, when I put it in there and didn't mean to send it through. So that's. You know, using the Ghost White Toner system to print on white, I'm using the M452DW, um, and you know, the Ghost, you know, it makes white toner cartridges for all different types of printers. Um, you know, if you're looking for something brighter, I would suggest maybe going and looking at the UniNet, but uh, it's a little bit more expensive. But you know, if you're looking to print on paper, uh, Ghost is pretty much going to give you the same printing capabilities as an Oki printer. Um, you know, so except you can use it with a lot of different type of desktop printers. So nice stuff here, as you can see. Um, it works on paper. You just have to make sure you have the correct media settings selected when you do this. Be sure to check out some of my other videos if you're interested in learning more about white toner printing. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day.